hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial we are going to learn how to design a flyer before any further ado let's get started i'm using six by four inches then the resolution is 300 click on create now i'm going to select my pen tool then click somewhere like this then you drag it then hold your alt key then you click somewhere here like this this way then hold your alt key again and you come here then you click and drag it this way then you hold your alt key again you click and then you come somewhere here like this Then hold your alt key then you go somewhere around here then you do it this way hold your control key then you drag this one close You can make changes the way you want it then come back again hold your alt key then you click here then hold your control key to make the adjustment this way something like this okay now you click somewhere here Then hold your control key you drag this one up this way you can make any adjustment then you click right here now we have something like this Then if you have any adjustment, you can hold your control key and to apply any adjustment you want to do. Alright. Now I'm going to your gradient overlay. I already have the color I'm going to use then this is the color code 5700000 and here is D30000 Now I will apply drop shadow this way, reduce it a bit, then reduce the opacity to 16, then click on grid, on OK I mean, 
so this is what you have now i will click on this to apply adjustment here okay then i'm going to draw another one over here this way then hold your fourth key again click somewhere here then hold your control key to apply any adjustment you want to make like this then hold your alt key to click here then click here then i'm also going to apply another one over here click around here then you drag it this way hold your control key adjust it the way you want then hold your alt key click somewhere here hold your alt key again then you click here to join to join it now what i will do is to hold my alt key then to drag this effect then hold it my hot key again then i drag this effect here then now what i'm doing i'll do again i'll double click on this effect to bring the the layer style option then i'll click on this gradient here then i'll click on reverse when i click on reverse you see a change here reverse you can see so the darker side move to this side before here is very dark now when i click on the reverse then here will be light and the dark will go back then i'm going to use my scale reduce the scale then change the direction you can see as you can see how it apply now then i'll click ok i'll come back to this one again double click on the layer style click on the gradient then rotate the angle you can see then I will reduce the scale this way is ok then okay now this is what i have then what i'm going to do next i'll come back here then select my pen tool then i'll click somewhere here then drag it this way then click somewhere here drag it like this then you hold your alt key and click outside here 
here then you combine it all right drop your pen now i can choose a color i would like to put over there something like this it's okay then import your image i'm going to use this image here then bring it down you can see then i want to make this image a little bit darker then go to image adjustment then i will apply this curve then drag it down this way i'll drag this one this way bring the top down you can see then okay now the next thing i'm going to do I'll bring my test copy ctrl c then select your test to ctrl v to paste then change the font to bold Then close it like this. Then open the character space this way. Then all right. What I will do now is to increase the size. Then I will select my test tool again. I will come here. I'll change the color of this part to red then I'll change this one to red why this one also i'll change it to red then i'll click ok then what i will do now so that the color will show then i will apply a drop shadow So that the color will come out both this way it's okay then my distance is six spread is eight and the size is ten all right then i will copy this one here again ctrl c to copy then select your test tool you come over here then you paste ctrl v to paste then i will change the color to white
then reduce the size then this is what I have here and the last thing I'm going to do is to bring this one in Reduce the size Then go to image Adjustment view and saturation Then you drag this one to white Then you select your test tool And I will type Social media Then reduce the size Then I'll place it over here Now Bring your guideline here Then I'll make sure that this one is within the center of it Okay now that is equal, then I can remove my guideline. Then I will copy the test here again. Then select your test tool. Then control V to paste. Then I'm going to change the color to white, to red I mean. I'll click here then increase the size then close the space Then I will copy this one again Then I will drag my test to Then Ctrl V to paste Then increase Z this way Expand it Then Highlight it and I'm going to reduce the size to 8 Then I'll centralize, centralize it Then open the space. Nine is okay. Then I'll change the color to black. So this is what we have Then What I'm going to do again To 
to have the other column or the other one i'm going to group this one this is flyer one then i'll duplicate this one and rename this one flyer two then i will open it select the background then double click on the effect then i'm going to gradient overlay i'll select the background then i have the color here then the color code is this 005F6B while the lighter one is 00AEAF then ok now I'm going to double click here then I will go back again to select the color then I apply it then I'll go to this one double click Then select the color again. Then I'll click. Okay. Then the image. Then I'm going to select this image. Then I'll bring it up here. this way then this color I will change it to white then the test here right click then I will clear the layer style Select your test tool, then I'm going to make a change. Then I'll make this one white. Then this one, I'll make this one complete red. then I will change this one to red then I'm going to remove this one here then I will make it bigger like this then I'm close the space then use your arrow key then to drag this one up
then increase it a bit all right so this is what we have then before i forget there's something i'll do here or i will select this one here the pen tool then i'll click over here then i'll change the color to color here something like this then go to drop shadow then reduce the spread the distance then the size 3 spread and the distance 3 3 then ok I'm going to duplicate this one then I will move it to the first flyer Before then, I will align this one. Mm -hmm. Close it. Then I will open this one. Sorry. I will close this one. then I will now move this one then change the color to red this way so this is how the design was made Thanks for watching, please kindly subscribe, like and share.